All right, guys, we got our custom arrows in their 14 and a half inch glory. We got our Supercell Storm target. It's rated for 600 feet per second. Now I shoot this with my center point 415 all the time and it doesn't even phase it from 15 to 20 yards. We got our target filming rig set up so it could catch the arrows as they strike the target. That'll be a lot of fun to watch when we edit it later. Let's get to it and shoot some arrows and see how they do. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a little backyard range set. Nice and cozy with a little bit of a canopy here. All right, guys, we got our Umarex air javelin ready to go. We got our nice little custom 14 and a half inch bolt. Now we are using a 88 to 12 gram adapter. I don't like wasting an 88 gram when I'm just gonna blast a couple arrows in the backyard. It seems like a waste to just leave a 90 gram. I don't even know if it's a safe thing or even a reliability hazard leaving a 90 gram cylinder in any kind of air gun for prolonged periods of time. I just use these little 12 grammers with the an adapter. They shoot pretty well for like six to seven shots for this demonstration won't need much so we're going to put our bolt into the umarex pull these custom bolts down range and see how they do all right guys as with any kind of air weapon or firearm you always want to make sure your safety is in place now the umarex is an ambidextrous safety however it's only safety to the right when it's pushed into the right and it's off safety when pushed into the left as i showed you earlier when we were making these arrows they go in fairly easy and then you want to hear that first little click that means the arrow is secured and ready to fire so we're going to remove our safety we're going to prime the weapon and then we're going to take our first shot okay a little low on that one let's go for another one a little higher but the grouping is right there which is all we want to know about today is about the grouping with these custom arrows very important higher yet as the co2 drains now remember we're using a 12 grand so we're probably good for five or six shots we have five arrows to make it count go for number four here and then we got one more all right, it's already starting to drop off pretty quickly, even at 15 yards. So we're going to check that grouping, see how it's treating us. All right, let's go check it out. All right, guys, I did feel them dropping off a little afterwards. I was aiming right under the target with my iron sights. First shot, I'm assuming, was this one. And then they kind of all, as the gas ran out on the gun, they all kind of drifted lower. So as you can see, for a custom arrow that costs you a fraction of what the Umarex arrows cost you, this is not a bad way to go. If you're semi-technically inclined and you're a little bit crafty, you can get this done with a Dremel tool, like I said, at home. This is not a bad way to go. I've seen these arrows as low as 10 to 15 bucks for the dozen. Like I said, as long as you shorten them to that 14 and a half inch mark and you make sure that they're air tight you're not gonna have a problem if you enjoyed this video i will catch up with you guys next week with some exciting fixed blade reviews we haven't abandoned the knives it's our forefront of this channel but we're gonna see a lot of outdoorsy stuff like this air guns archery everything outdoors thank you for watching guys appreciate the love i'll talk to you later